Hi, this is Greg Raleigh, and you're on BackstageAccess.com, where the real show begins. I'm going to toss it to the guy on the far side of the bed here. Give it up for Greg Raleigh! Jerry, backstage access. We're here at the Lakeview Amphitheater in Syracuse, New York. Brand new venue. It's the second show, actually. They had a show last year just to test out the waters, but you guys are really going to be testing out the waters. We're here with Greg Raleigh of the Ringo Star Band. Yeah. What's going on? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm you here. guys are here, and I uh, did a little little taste for the media of what to expect, and you've been with uh, Ringo now for, well, Ringo corrected me. I said five years. He said four years in one week. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're starting the fifth year, which is amazing yeah. uh, to me. I, you know, like I said, I, for two years I'd look back and see him playing drums, and I'm on the same stage, and I was like, "What am I doing here?" And it's finally settled down. He was like, the Beatles were a big, big mm -hmm. part of my life when I was uh, starting music, and uh, I thought I was never going to do it anyway. I was going to be an architect, and th they came along, and there was bands everywhere, you know, the. Uh, they probably they probably brought more music to the world through doing what they did because other people wanted to do it. Yeah, they, everybody, people, all you guys, when you're asked questions, you know, the, the big influence was the Ed Sullivan show. I mean, that pretty much started yeah, a rock roll. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Then I ended up being on there Yeah. with Santana. Where you get into and uh, yeah, my dad was sitting there watching and he fell off the couch. <laughs> <laughs> He's going, this is my kid, right? All right. Um, Tell us about Santana. He just came out with a new record, Santana 4. Uh, how did it all come about with getting back with Carlos and, and Neil and the whole band? Well, actually, Neil started the whole thing. He's, uh, as Carlos said, he was like a guided missile coming in on him. And, and uh, the way it happened for me is I was touring with Ringo in the Pacific Rim, and this about two, three years back. And behind us was Carlos and behind Carlos was Neil going through the Pacific Rim okay. with Journey and ne Neil was t texting me about this and I said I'll wait till we get home and ask Carlos you know I've, I've seen some internet stuff but that mm -hmm. doesn't mean much to me right. so I gave him a call and he goes yep I want to do this and he wanted to call it Santana 4 because uh, Santana 3 was the last band um, the last right record for the for a band and uh, I, th I th it was brilliant so it said in two words you said everything you know now you guys did a couple shows in new york and whatnot but i mean is there going to be a full-fledged like reunion tour yeah like there's the talk guys? about it ever you know at this point neil's out with journey i'm out with ringo carlos is out with carlos mm -hmm. and uh this year i don't think would happen maybe a couple more dates there's uh um, one at the Forum in L.A. and one at uh, AT&T Park okay. in San Francisco. Right. And, and then we did the three, Madison Square Garden, Mohegan Sun, and Allentown earlier in okay. May. So we hope to see you guys on the road. And I got to uh, rewind back to the Ringo Starr uh, All-Star Band here. What can the fans expect when they, you guys this year uh, compared to past years? Well... I don't know. Is there? It, it, it's the same band, same group, same energy. Is it? Um, is it going to change a little bit, or? Oh, uh, there's uh, it, Ringo brought in one other song okay. he wanted to change up. Okay. But it it's the it's the same material. It's the hit songs. That it's what he bases right. everything on. I know? mean, the tight. You guys are just extremely, extremely tight. We heard the sound check when we were coming down. It's and I'm sure that's. Uh, have you guys rehearsed it all, or is that kind yeah, of? Yeah, we rehearsed for a like a day and a half. <laughs> okay. Well, really, I you know after. But it sounds so tight, though. Yeah. You know? They're all good players. Yeah. And and it, as Todd said, everybody plays mm -hmm. the other guy's music just as hard as yep. as his own. And, uh, and you know, and, and some of my favorite songs aren't even mine, so mm, right. it makes it great. Mm. So I'll tell us, uh, wrapping up here, um, the rest the, after the All Star Band, what are you personally going to be doing? You got anything going I'm gonna on? Go home and finish my house. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it, it, probably the the Santana thing. I got a couple mm -hmm. of dates with my um, with my own band, and uh, and then out with Ringo again in October. Okay. 
So, yeah, that's right. Where are you guys heading off in October for uh, Pacific Rim again. Okay. So you guys got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. You're busy. Fifth. I don't know what happened to the <laughs> retirement I started, but it went Fit up the house smoke. and yeah. yeah. But Greg Raleigh here with Backstage Access. Check him out on a row with Ringo Starr, All-Star Band, and also Santana for hopefully, hopefully, praying that there's going to be a huge tour because I definitely want to check I it out. I would love to. So Adios. Backstage Access, thanks for taking the time. You got to change your evil ways, baby.